Whenever we create a formula, we're going to end up using one of two types of cell references, either a relative cell reference or an absolute cell reference. And the absolute cell reference is referring to locking a cell reference in the formula as it fills down. For example, if I look at this formula here, there's a cell range reference here mentioned in the formula B7 through E7, which is relative. So as this formula fills down for total sales, these cell references will change accordingly and respectively to its position. Pretty simple. Over here I have a column for goal bonus. I want to create a formula here in this cell that calculates if the total sales is greater than or equal to our goal. And if it is, then I want to do total sales times the bonus rate. Now you might imagine because we just mentioned relative cell referencing, when I include H4 in the cell, in the formula, I want this location, this specific cell, to be locked in position as it fills down. Let's take a look. We're going to create our formula here. And as you might imagine, we're going to use the if function. If total sales is greater than or equal to goal, our goal, then that's what that comma means total sales times bonus rate if not that's what that comma means just leave it as zero close the parentheses press control enter and there it is pretty simple now when I fill it down however you'll notice that there's some errors here I can see that clearly this total did exceed the goal and why is there not a calculation so let's take a look if I open this up indeed F8 and G8 moved down respectively as it should however H5 was respective as well and it moved down so I want the original formula to lock H4 in position so here's how we'll do it we're gonna come back to this formula I'm gonna select H4 cell reference and I want to absolute reference that cell so I'm going to press my F4 key and it puts a dollar sign in front of the column and in front of the row which now makes that cell an absolute cell reference for this formula I'll press control enter and then I'll fill it down and there you have it pretty simple now there's an even easier way as you become more proficient with using Excel it might be a good idea to replace H4 cell reference with a name let's take a look at what that means if I come up to my bonus rate I have my cell here for whatever that might be and I can change it as I see fit so it might be a neat idea to give this cell a name and this has to do with define names for cells so with this cell selected I'm gonna to come to my name box up here I'm gonna click inside here and I'm gonna type in bonus and I'll press enter and now this cell is named bonus so if I come down to this cell here for my goal bonus and I select the absolute cell referencing and instead of using my cell reference itself and I just type in bonus I can see my little tag down here I'll click on this to use it there it is now my formula reads if total sales is greater than or equal to goal then total sales times bonus if not, leave it zero. Looks good. I'll press control enter. I'll fill it down. Pretty simple. Nothing's changed in my results. The only thing that's changed is my formula here that now mentions a defined name. Using this method means that I don't have to worry about absolute cell referencing any specific cells because this has been given a name already. Pretty simple. Well, I hope this helps. And if you have friends or colleagues that are struggling with Excel, share this with them as well.